Okay, so uh, this is the uh, assignment two that you need to do. Uh, traffic light controller. Eh? This is a practical application. Uh, practical application for our for our course. Eh? So in this assignment, as you can see, uh, each group man eh, need to propose a unique system where it is depending on location of the proposed traffic light. Eh? For example, in figure one eh, is the satellite view of the traffic light at our main uh, uh, university main gate. Eh? Right? This is from uh, the map actually. Uh, the main gate that, uh, that we have traffic light here. Eh? This is the T junction, this is to Batu Pahat, this is to Kluang, and this is from uh, from uh, UTHM, All right? So in 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 your case, uh, you need to propose a uh, uh, a unique system, uh, which is not. I mean, this unique system is mean uh, means that your proposed system is different from uh, each other. Uh, for example, group one proposed uh, uh, the traffic light uh, in uh, Parikaja. Another one is uh, somewhere in Batu Pahat, right? So, uh, so you need to study the sequence of uh, of the of the light, yeah? of the traffic light. Yeah? For example, for this junction, green, uh, uh, the sequence, yeah? green from here, alright, from from the UTHM to the main road, right? Green for here. Right, to go to uh, Kluang and from here to go to UTHM and to go to Batu Pahat, for example. So you need to uh, propose uh, that kind of thing, yeah, the sequence. Right? Uh, so here uh, you need to devise uh, the specification of the traffic light control controller, uh, such as the number of light, uh, for example, for this uh, T junction like this, uh, how many light that you need to have, right? Uh, here, how many light for, for, for this traffic flow from uh, Kluang to uh, from Batu Pahat to Kluang and from here from Kluang to Batu Pahat, uh, how many light that you need to have and from uh, UTHM to the main road and uh, so this thing you need to propose uh, based on the location of the traffic light that you select. And um, the traffic sequence, of course, the traffic sequence, right? For example, if you have three lights, uh, three lights, so what is the sequence? I will uh, show you example later on. And also the timing, the, maybe if you want to have the sensor, right? You propose, uh, for example, pedestrian, uh, pedestrian sensor or uh, maybe your traffic light is a uh, kind of uh, smart traffic light for example right uh, for example this is the main road which is the uh, the uh, heavy traffic road eh? and this one is less heavy right so sometimes uh, this road uh, we have no vehicle waiting here okay so if we have a smart traffic light so if no vehicle is waiting here, so no need to have this uh, uh, road, eh, this traffic to go green, right? So no need to turn on the green here. So let's all the uh, 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 this uh, main road to be always green, for example, right? We don't disturb the, the main road, eh, the sequence. And on this one green, if only that uh, we have the uh, car wait here, so we have the sensor, uh, for example. So if one car is waiting, so now it will stop the, uh, the, the, the flow of the traffic here, uh, red light, and let this, uh, the flow, uh, the car from here to, to enter the road. Okay, so uh, that, that you can, uh, uh, the things that you can, you can think about, uh, and uh, number five, for example, others, uh, others uh, uh, requirement or any uh, features that you you, you think it is uh, good for for the traffic light. Eh? Okay, 
So, uh, and this is the example of the sequence for, for this uh, junction. Okay, so this is from UTHM to the main road, and this is main road, this is to uh, Autopahad, and this is to Kowak. Right? So, uh, so in this example, this is not represent the actual uh, sequence, eh? just uh, for example, eh, for this uh, assignment. So this is the sim uh, simplest sequence eh, where we have only three light. Eh? All right, uh, the light is is labeled as L1, L2, and L3. So what is L1? L1 is the uh, the light that allow the uh, vehicle to to go from Kluang to Batu Pahat and uh, also to uh, make a U-turn eh? make a U-turn here and also uh, go to UTHM here right uh, L1 is the, the flow eh? the flow where the uh, uh, when green light yeah? green light so the vehicle can go to here go here and go here and for L2, all right, L2, when L2 is uh, green, so the vehicle can go from uh, Batu Pahat to Kluang and make a U-turn uh, back to Batu Pahat. And when L3 is green, so L3, uh, the vehicle from UTHM can enter the main road, right? Yeah, main road, okay. Or maybe go here, right? So that is the sequence, a simple sequence that uh, we can implement, okay? And uh, when we have this sequence, so we can uh, uh, create what we call the timing diagram for the traffic light. Eh? This is the sample timing diagram for the traffic light. Uh, for, for, for this sequence, eh? L1, L2, and L3. So we can see here, we have L1, we have L2, we have L3. So L1, uh, we have green, uh, green signal, yellow signal, red signal. So for example, we start with L1, which is this, uh, this flow. Okay. So when uh, L1, green, uh, green, we can see that this is green, uh, green represented by logic 1, uh, logic high. Uh, and uh, we can see that when it is green, uh, yellow is low and red is low, means that only this one is on. All right? And we can see for other slides, eh, like for L2 and L3, L2 and L3, we can see that uh, the green is off for L2, the yellow is off also, and of, of course the, the red. Is on eh? when L1 is green, L2 should be red, uh, L3 also should be red. All right, and uh, here we can see that when uh, L1 yellow, all right, when L1 yellow, of course the green should go down eh? off the green, and red is not on yet. Yellow, eh? right? Yellow for 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 about uh, three seconds, for example. And this one is still uh, low, and this one is still red, and this one is still red. All right. And whenever yellow going down and L1 start to go red, huh? the red is on, and now L2, L2 green is on already here, yeah. right? And L2, of course, the L2 yellow is down, and when L uh, L2 here on. Of course, the red will go, will go low, okay. And uh, this one, the green is off, yellow is off, and uh, this one red, uh, one red already. L3 is still red. Uh, and uh, for this, when uh, L2 yellow, right? So green then go down already, red not yet, and this one still red, this one still red, and now L3 green and this one go red already this one should be red and uh, the red should go down to zero so that is the sequence and the sequence is repeated and repeated so this is a simple 
simple sequence eh, where we don't have the sensor in this case just a simple sequence and the time the duration for uh, green yellow red is uh, fixed eh? fixed all right we can see that the duration is uh, the same eh? and uh, this is example of the hardware implementation uh, where you can have uh, uh, two parts eh? the, the timer of course you need to have the timer all right uh, for example, the duration of the green, uh, how long, the, the duration of the yellow, how long. In this case, uh, because this is a, this case, uh, uh, fixed, uh, fixed timing, so I only have two timing. So for, this is for green, all right. So you don't, don't need to have uh, for red because uh, if, if, if green eh? if one of the light is green so the other should be should be red right so this one is for for green eh? so for 20 uh, seconds for example and this one is for yellow for three seconds all right and we have the down counter okay where we count from uh depend so this counter can be can be loaded eh? with with this number eh? you can load 20 to this counter or 3 to this counter depend on the timer select here right okay so for example if you want to, to set the timer for green so you just select 20 here and load eh? make the load signal and load to the counter and uh, disable the load and you will have the countdown here and when countdown eh? the uh, counter is equal to zero means that uh, the time is up so it will send the signal t eh? this signal t will send uh, will 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 be sent to uh, to the uh, what is this finite state machine eh? the more type finite state, finite state machine so this state machine will uh, receive the t so when t is uh, one uh, means that the time is up time is up so it will uh, change the sequence here right change the sequence here okay so that is the idea so you can have uh, something like uh, when you connect the two eh? when you connect the two so should be something like this this is the uh, the final state machine and this is the counter right so uh, I will show let show later uh, the code and the uh, how you can uh, create the uh, uh, state diagram eh? for example all right and uh, um, this is the uh, simulation waveform of the uh, the result eh? so the result will be something like this so I will show the, the actual one using the quarters too okay so any questions for this so if no question we will go to the quarters two and uh, before that uh, we will look at the uh, state diagram first okay so so this is the uh, I, I forgot what one signal actually uh, the uh, timer select the timer select is actually from the from the final state machine eh? from the final state machine so because uh, uh, we want to select uh, the timer with nee, this one all right we want to select whether we want 20 for green or for yellow right so the timer select will from here means that if we are at the state uh, uh, green uh, for example green so uh, the timer select this signal is select 20 eh? for example if this is one this is zero so this signal should be one to select 20 but if yellow this signal should be zero to select timer uh, this 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 one eh? number three um, so uh, let's look at the uh, possible uh, state diagram and uh, yesterday all right I uh, explained to you uh, what is ASM eh? algorithmic uh, state machine eh? which is the another type of 
stain diagram uh, but we use the uh, flowchart form instead of using the uh, the uh, the, top uh, the, the, the the state diagram uh, the the the, what, the, uh, the circle right so if you refer to my video last uh, yesterday so how to uh, convert from uh, uh, the state diagram to uh, ASM right so maybe we can go back a little bit on this ASM all right so for example this is the uh, uh, example one eh? the automatic uh, automatic uh, speed regulated uh, car eh? all right so this is state A for example eh? state A so when W equal to 1 we go to straight B state B when W equal to 1 we go to straight set C but if W equal to 0, we stay at state A, right? So this is the form of flow chart. So W now will, will, will be the decision. Eh? decision. Alright, why we use ASM? Because uh, for the flow chart, not flow chart, for the state diagram that we have, uh, uh, FSM, that we have many states uh, to use the uh, this kind of uh, diagram is quite complicated and it's look complicated all right so uh, this way is more uh, I mean uh, easy to easier to uh, visualize huh? easier to represent how the system work huh? so for example in uh, in this case all right even uh, for small uh, or for simple sequence L1, L2, L3, here you can see that I have up to uh, 12 states, uh, 12 states already. All right, so to use this, this kind of uh, representation is quite complicated. Uh, so uh, this way is more uh, easier to, to, to read and to, to create. Uh, Right, so let's see uh, what we can do about this. Yeah, to represent this uh, system. So, for example, we have the uh, uh, state, uh, the, the first state that all lights are off. Uh. First, we uh, switch on our system. Uh, all lights are off first, and uh, this is. L1 green on, all right. The state, the the, the, the next state is, uh, all right. This this one no. Uh, if you look at this, there is no no other input eh, to this one. Means that this one is only for one clock cycle. After the next clock cycle, uh, it will automatically go to the green light. Eh, L1 green to on. Eh? So means that this uh, this this one this one. Uh, so uh, for this you just output uh, green for L1 green equal to 1 yellow equal to 0 red equal to 0 to the output and you have this uh, green 1 on alright uh, and uh, you set the timer to 20 alright and T enable uh, T enable is uh, actually this one uh, load uh, the load signal this is the this thing I sent to this to load the value 20 to the counter and set the counter to run All right and here you go to this yeah, L1 green go to the next next state it will wait for t equal to 0 All right next for wait for this equal to 0 means that it will count eh, from 20 19 18 until t is equal to 0 and it will give this uh, signal all right give the signal to this uh, if t equal to 0 if if uh, if yes uh, t equal to 0 because uh, if t equal to 0 the timing 
the, the counter here equal to zero t equal to one right should be equal to one so i i forgot that yes and and no right so if t equal to still equal to zero so we still go back and stay at this l1 green but if t equal to zero uh, equal to one if t equal to one means that the counter is uh reset already eh? reached to zero already so we need to go to the next state so this state is to on the yellow for l1 all right means that uh this uh, this this part to on yellow for this one so to on the yellow all right what you do is you just on the yellow and set the timer in this case set the timer and t enable again what we do is that we set this yeah set this and load to the counter number three now number three all right because yellow yellow is number three green is number one uh sorry 20 so load to the counter and wait here is the wait means that uh this part this part so wait for three seconds only three seconds and then when when uh timer well, the counter is zero so we yellow then l2 green on already next l2 green on so means that uh this one all right this one is l2 green on and so on all right so is it repeated here until until here l3 yellow on that means that this uh, l3 yellow on okay and we go back to to the first state so this one is go back to the first state state b all right go back and repeat and yeah? repeat so uh this will complete this the sequence all right and uh, uh if we look at the code all right so this is the code uh this is the the full code for counter you can see yeah the top level in our case the top level circuit we have only this yeah? we instantiate this module the counter means that we have two circuit here yeah? we have the the counter and the the uh, finite state machine the controller all right uh, this is the finite state machine okay so this is top the top uh top level module so uh, if we view in this is it's it's look like this yeah it's look like this uh, where is it look like this this uh, you have two modules this one this one and the connection is uh, like this right so uh, it's like this and if we look at the counter here is the counter is uh, quite not not that uh difficult eh, to, to to do so you have just describe this all right based on what you have learned and of course we have learned this already so you can describe using uh, behavioral modeling uh, you can describe the counter with no problem you can describe the uh, the uh, multiplexer this multiplexer with no problem right and uh, for about the finite state machine so this is the finite state machine okay so we have up to 13 eh? 13 state uh, we can see it on the state here and uh, for all of for example this is all of eh? all of so we have all are of l1 this is l1 all of l2 all of l3 all of but when uh, the next state is l1 green on when the green on so uh, here uh, before we on actually this one is for safety yeah so when you look at uh, traffic light actually uh, when the transition eh, from uh, from green or from one junction to other junction actually there is a there is a, a gap uh, it, it is not immediately turned from red to to uh, from 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 red to green yeah even uh have we will have one one period eh, where all the junction are 
red actually eh, for safety reason all right so this is the safety reason eh? the l1 green horn you can see that all are red eh? all are red all right and uh, this one we set the timer select enable and so on all right and uh, after that uh, green uh, this one is on the screen and the others are, are red eh? are red and so on and so forth so it's actually quite um, uh, very straightforward so you can you can you can modify for this actually no problem uh, but uh, just like i said your traffic light must be unique huh? and you need to have uh, other features huh? okay for example sensor we will uh, discuss later on how to uh, include the sensor and so on all right and uh, in this uh, when we look at the uh, when we look at the uh, simulation result right let's see how to get the simulation okay so uh, when we zoom on uh, can you see this uh, uh, this is the clock eh? and uh, we can zoom this okay so this is clock uh, this one also this is in nano nano uh, actually we just try uh, and just assume that this is uh, one one second eh? one second so if we want uh, because in simulation you cannot use one second eh? it's, it's, it's too uh, slow eh? but in actual implementation later on uh, in the, here if we want to use actual implementation the clock to the to the counter must be one hertz eh? count every every one second eh? in this case uh, the clock is quite fast eh? Right, but we just assume that this is one one uh, second right the period of the clock so here this is the counter uh, this is the counter count all right so we can change to uh, maybe use uh, unsigned number so that we can see the count process uh, count from 20 19 until until zero now we cannot see zero uh, okay yeah Okay, zero and we change eh? so we can see here right we can see here this is the the first state eh? all of zero 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 means that red yellow green for l1 this is l1 uh, all are off eh? all are off off of first eh? and then this is reset signal and when the reset is not activated right this is we active we reset everything to go to a uh, first step and uh, when we start here this is the first state now uh, represent this uh, state represent this state uh, l1 green on all right uh, initialize for l1 on l1 green on so we can see that all are off uh, all all are red in red uh, 001 is red all right for green uh, Okay, so we can expand this actually uh, means that this is this is for red this is uh, for yellow this is for for green eh? so red is one right so this is zero zero one and uh, next we go to this okay we go to this uh, state so this is the state uh, means that one zero zero is uh, green eh? green already 100 green l1 green all right and uh, for 20 20 nanosecond uh, not nanosecond 20 second all right green for 20 second and we can see uh 20 until zero here and it start to yellow here all right zero one zero is here is yellow and we can see that all uh, l2 and l3 here both are red eh? 001 is red 001 red so we can see red red until here all right this is initialized eh, for safety reason also all are red 
zero zero one means red. This is zero zero one red, zero zero one red, and then here L two start to green, eh? green. So we can see that when this one green, this one must be red, and this one is red, eh? red, and. Uh, And this is the the last for the L three, okay. So when the uh, when the all right. So when the L three green, so L two uh, is red and L one is red. Eh? Until here, the sequence is repeated. Right, so that is the simulation for this one. Right, so uh, what you need to do is uh, to to choose uh, what junction you want to uh, to use in your assignment and what is the sequence. All right, whether you want. Uh, if for uh, example this one if you want to add sensor uh, for example if you want to add sensor how to do that right so uh, you need to go to here uh, how to add the sensor so the sensor for example the normal flow uh, uh, in this case let's say we have the pedestrian crossing all right where uh, uh, anyone can press the button all right to cross the road and if uh, this button is activated it will wait for others uh, it, it will wait wait for the the current uh, uh, sequence to to finish eh? the red uh, the green for the current uh, state to finish and go to the state that will turn off uh, all the green and uh, turn on all the red so that is what can, can cross eh? the people here can cross all right so how to do that so maybe in uh, this right in this you can modify for example yeah you can have another state or another uh, check eh? Another check, another signal, which is the signal from the sensor. Yeah. This, uh -huh. for example, L1. All right, L1. When, uh, whenever the green is done, so it is yellow, right? This is yellow. So in this case, when we check for uh, after the yellow, we check whether we have the input from the sensor. Right. So if the sensor S equal to one means that the sensor is activated, so we go to the to the state that will on the uh, for pedestrian crossing. All right, and after that go back to the to the main sequence. All right, but if there is no sensor, we just proceed to the to the L two green. All right, so nothing happened. All right, but if we have the sensor is activated, we need to go to to do the uh, the, the the sensor part, eh? All right, and go back to the normal sequence. So that is how you you modify this uh, uh, ASM, All right? To to add the sensor, for example. All right, mm. or maybe you have. Uh, for junction, all right, or five junction, depend on the, how how you want to uh, have it, or maybe you you want to do this also, but but uh, just like uh, the actual implementation where L one here, all right, L one here is not uh, in the same sequence, right? We can see that uh, we have this one L one, all right, L one red, but this one sometimes. Uh, the vehicle can still go go to the from Wang to Batu Pahat, right? 
Uh, so it means that you have more complicated sequence. Yeah? So you can do that. All right. So for this assignment, if you have more features, uh, more features, additional features, so it will give you, uh, 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 I will give you bonus mark right, for additional features. Okay, uh, and uh, or maybe if you want uh, another type of uh, smart traffic light, right? Uh, for example, uh, this junction, we have uh, because we know that this is the main road and this main road is uh, the traffic is heavy, right? As compared to, to the to the road to UTHM, and uh, and sometimes eh, there is no vehicle waiting eh, to enter the main road from the UT from UTHM. All right, but if our traffic light is uh, is using the small normal sequence, right? Although there is no vehicle with waiting here, but this main road need to stop for red light also, and eh? this one also go green. Although there is no vehicle waiting all right so maybe you can have the sensor to sense uh, the vehicles all right the vehicle here if there is vehicle then you interrupt uh, this uh, 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 main flow uh, main traffic if there is no vehicle you just make uh, let the the traffic flow as usual uh, without interrupting the, the, the traffic all right or maybe if you have a uh, more intelligent uh, traffic light where you can have a uh, level of congestion here right for example if you have uh, one vehicle is waiting here so the duration for green light for this one is is very short for example 10 uh, 10 seconds but if if you have more than one vehicle for example five vehicles waiting here maybe you need 10 seconds for for green light all right or more than that maybe you have you need 20 seconds for green light all right so maybe you, you uh you can have level of congestion l1 l2 l3 for example right so that is the uh, the idea all right so this is a uh, up to you okay so that is uh, what you need to do in the excitement. All right, any question? Are you solid?